All right, so I've got some controls on here now. Trying out some things. So I got the joystick, which is nice. Move our eyes around. Now I got these two knobs. So this one over here is controlling the frequency of her glances. She's looking around quite a bit more often now. Not so much anymore. The other one over here, this is controlling the um, scale of the micro saccades. So now she's looking around, and the eyes more or less stay in position. I mean, they're sort of jiggling around, like they're picking a place and then looking around, but it's such a small distance that it's effectively nothing. Crank that up. Yeah. Those sort of micro movements. So you'll see every now and then, instead of glancing around, she'll do a, a smooth movement. I guess this is one of those behaviors that you see in eyes. Typically, when you're looking at something, you're looking at a target, and then uh, your eyes go to look at something else, and uh, the time in between, you don't actually see anything. Just sort of seeing these um, small windows of reality, and then your mind just sort of fills in the rest. I think that's how it works anyways. But if they're, like, tracking something in the distance, which is less common, tracking an object, like a, I don't know, you're throwing a ball or something. So she only does that, I think, what have I got it set at? Uh, like, 12% of the time, I think. It's looking pretty good, I think. It's nice to be able to fine-tune the, the behavior over here. I want to play around with the ranges that I have these set at over in the, the code over here. Yeah. That's a bit extreme, I think. I guess the next step here, I'd like to add some kind of a sensor array down here as well. It'd be good to uh, like move my hand around and, and have the eyes actually track without having to use the joystick, although I'm basically repurposing what's going on with this for some other kind of sensor. So I was thinking maybe three or four or five different uh, laser distance sensors, sort of looking off in four different directions. That might be or at least sufficient. Sort of break the visual field down into a 
four different regions. It doesn't really need to be any more complicated than that, I don't think. I would use one of these ultrasonic sensors to do the same thing, like, you know, one, two, three, four, something like that. But I find that these are not, I don't know, they're not great. Get a lot of uh, variation. I don't think it could be responsive enough. Like, I'd be moving over here and uh, eventually she'd get around to looking at the hand. Like, I don't know, I've had some problems with them. <laughs> I might give it a try. Anyhow, tell me what you think.